Hey everyone, Ronnie Rowe back here um, amongst the living again after my uh, bout with COVID. It happened, uh, I guess, a week and a half or so ago. Um, I didn't do a video last week, wasn't feeling like it, hadn't got much done. But um, I did come back by feeling good and everything, so uh, hopefully we're over that for uh, the future anyway, hope so. Uh, before we get started, thank you very much. All of the kind words that you put out on uh, the uh, YouTube video site, wishing me a speedy recovery, and I appreciate each and every one of you for putting that out. That meant an awful lot to me. Um, it was something that I went through, didn't plan on it, don't know where I got it. Yeah, I do know where I got it. I got it from Art. Art's my buddy at the Y. We sit around and drink coffee, us old guys, after swimming. And um, Art had COVID the same time I did. So he, he claims he got it from me. I claim I got it from Art. So we probably got it from Warren, who didn't get sick. But anyway, we don't know where it happens. But anyway, got over that, felt bad a couple of days, and uh, did, did, did make a speedy recovery. Feel, feel pretty good about it right now. Um, today um, is the... 18th of January. Um, it's a Wednesday evening where I am. I've got a few things written down here that I want to go over tonight. Uh, a little bit, tell a little bit about my COVID, which I just did. So anyway, we'll move on from that. Oh, Cammy, thank you very, very much. A good friend of mine, Cammy, 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 who um uh, has bought charts for me a long long time uh she asked me not long ago she was working on flight would i send her a pdf file so she could see it better and i did and she was nice enough to send me a christmas ornament that she had made this year she made a bunch of these for her friends and had one and sent it to me and cammy thank you very very much next year that ornament will be on our christmas tree down in the uh, living room so uh, thank you, Cammy. I really do appreciate that a whole, whole lot. Um, one thing we um, I've been doing in the last couple of weeks, but really looking at is um, I got a phone call from a good friend of mine stitching with Jules Julie. And we got talking about our designs, about the uh, size of the designs that we're putting out. Um, I normally do something around 280 by 180 or, or larger. And um, making them into miniatures. And so uh, we've been discussing that back and forth and she's looked at some of her designs and I'm in the process of looking at some of my designs. Um, I did put Morning Light out as a miniature on my SD channel. So if you wanna go there and take a look at that, that's out there as a PDF download. You won't get a hard copy, it's just PDF. So, um, but anyway, you might wanna look at that. Um, what I'm gonna ask you, are there any of my designs that you'd like to see that um, you'd like to see a miniaturized? Swung down some so they're easier to do, whether they be uh, some of the buildings that I have done in the past or musical instruments or portraits or whatever I've done. If it's something you'd like, uh, put a comment down there and I'll see what I can do with it. And uh, that's something I'm looking into right now to put on the SD site. Um, I haven't done them. I got a few out there now, if you want to take a look at them. Some of the uh, Williamsburg uh, colonial building, buildings that I had done in the past. So anyway, if you get a chance, go through and take a look at the miniatures I've put out there. Um, Blue Haven, next project. Um, finished, finished, finished morning light. We'll get there in a minute. Uh, Blue Haven is a design that I was going to do next. I told you I wanted to do something in line of snowbound it was one i did the uh snowbound if you recall uh hold on one second that was this one here i wanted to do something similar to this in that boat area uh along that line and i didn't know what i was going to do so uh, we sketched out some stuff started putting it in affinity designer affinity photo uh a lot of other programs and Came up with something like that. We wanted a little building with a pier and some rocks and everything. And uh, I was going to make this thing blue. And uh, so 
Um, I hadn't picked the color, didn't really pick the colors at, at that time and everything and figure out what I'm going to do. But since that, I showed you that, uh, I guess a couple of weeks ago, since that time, I've gone back through Affinity Design or Affinity Photo and um, colored up some stuff. Uh, that right there is the little pier. And it grew up. That's the little pier that's going into, if you can see it over on this page right here. That's going from the rocks out to the uh, little landing that's going out to the house. Um, what else do I have here? I have got the uh, little house that's going out. And of course, like I just got, this is all in pieces right now. And as the little landing is going out into the house and that's the sky above the blue, I've started on that. And I, Kind of a foggy look on there. I wanted something foggy, I guess, and something that looked uh, kind of surreal. And uh, across the bottom of this whole design, some blue rocks. Come up with some rocks and everything, and just twisted them, turned everything around to see what that's going to look like. And um, what we came up with is, like I say, something like this. And so, um, we're in the process of uh, working at right now. I've got it to the point where I have started stitching across the top. I always start in the upper left-hand corner and I'll work my way from left to right on my fabric. And this design will be 280 by 180. And I'm planning on, when I finish this, put it in a miniature also. Uh, hopefully next week I'll be at a point where maybe I can... Uh, have this available to you so you can stitch along and everything. I don't have it right there right yet, but when I do, I'll let you know. Um, same thing we did with Morning Light. A lot of you like to stitch along, like like to have the design to stitch with me. So um, anyway, that's what's on. That's what's planned for uh, in the future. Uh, morning Light. Um, I told you last uh, two weeks ago, two and a half, two weeks ago, or so that I was going to frame Morning Light up and have it all framed. Got it all framed. Washed the thing out, ironed it all out, went and got the mat board, picked the mat board colors, had the frame that I built, and I have um, mounted uh, morning light. Morning light turned out good. I'm happy with morning light. Uh, it's one of, uh, I can't say it's one of my favorites, but it's, hey, it was a favorite by the time I was working on it. So, but anyway, this is backside of morning light and morning light as a finished product there you go that is morning light um i know it's hard to see with the reflection i'm gonna move around a little bit so you can see it but uh anyway you can see the light coming down onto the um onto the picture uh onto the little house and so i do put glass in mine some people some people say you shouldn't put glass in i'm going to show them I ain't gonna do all the stuff I do to it and not put the glass in. But anyway, you can get the idea. But that is morning light all stitched and ready to go. Let me get it up there so you can see the stitching on this thing. So every stitch by Ronnie Rowe. So it took me a while. Started on this on October the 19th. That's uh when I started. I always write down when I start one. Uh, pick these colors, the mat board. Uh, why'd you pick the ones, mat board colors, somebody's going to ask. Well, what I wanted to do, I didn't want any more yellow in it. It had yellow in it. So what I did was pick up here, the sky, that that kind of a bluish gray looking sky and everything I made for my outside mat. And the inside mat, I picked something red, um, which went right in this area right here. And also around this area so i did the red uh, i didn't go out and buy a new piece of red mat board i had some red mat board it seemed like it an exact shade but it was it was close so but anyway built the frame that is morning light all finished all framed ready to hang so and what i'm going to be doing with this piece um february the second i'm going to be going to uh, Alexandra, Virginia, up that area to Woodlawn Plantation. This this piece will be hanging in Woodlawn Plantation for their annual 
Neva Works uh, art show, which will start open to the public. I believe it's the first of March, runs through the whole month of March. And so um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put that one in there, plus another one. I've already filled out all the information, sent pictures of it and everything. So been accepted and all that. So I'll be dropping that off uh, Friday the second i believe it's the second of uh february i'll be dropping that off at at the uh woodlawn plantation <laughs> excuse me and um so anyway we'll see if people like them uh, i put up work in there before people have enjoyed them uh, a couple of years ago i won a, a one of the biggest awards the director's award for the one flight that i was doing so um of course you know what happened to flight <laughs> ups it, it flew out it flew into the garbage can so i am restitching that i've got all around the top of flight done i'm in my second row across and about halfway across so i've got the word some of the moon and i'm working on the uh, right hand side where i have the international space station so i am restitching that particular design that was one i really really liked and so it's one of the only ones i've ever restitched ones that i designed so um that's what i'm working on right now um hopefully next week we'll be able to show you um more um uh, blue haven that's what i'm gonna call it and um we'll show you where i'm stitching on that and hopefully i'll have a pdf file or something i can get you going on that so um we'll see we'll see about that time so but anyway that's what's going on in ronnie Rowe world um uh, like I say, I got talking to Julie this week, uh, Oda stitching with jewels. She's doing a fantastic job on her minis. And uh, so anyway, we, we've we been uh, working back and forth on how we're going to do that and the best techniques to use. Uh, we still haven't come up with a really good technique for the black and whites. I mean, when you do the black and whites, there's so much white in it that you use the pattern. Uh, the, the material is part of the pattern that um, it's hard to it's hard to do anything uh, with that. So, um, but anyway, we're working on it. We're talking about it and we'll see what happens. Uh, but anyway, that's it for this week. Um, I thank you again for all your kind, kind uh, words that you sent my way when I had COVID. So uh, anyway, I'm hoping not to go through that again. But of course, when I talked to you last, I didn't plan on going through it anyway. So. But the wife was wonderful. She looked after me. After I got feeling better, I lay upstairs in the room, isolated by myself, moaning, groaning. Felt okay. Moaning, groaning, see how many sandwiches to see what I could get her to do for me. But uh, And that seemed, seemed to work out pretty well. But then uh, she saw through it pretty quickly, I think. So, But anyway, uh, went back to the Y this week. Uh, been swimming, back in this pool, swimming, still talking to Art, the guy who gave me the COVID. <laughs> And uh, we'll see what happens there. But anyway, what I want you to do, uh, thank you for uh, tuning in. Hit the little subscribe button, if you will. And uh, I'll talk to you soon. And like I tell you every time I tell you, number one thing I want you to do out there is be safe. Talk to you later. Bye-bye.